Hi, everybody. It is uh, January 20th, uh, Thursday. Um, this month is plowing right along. Uh, I just, uh, two things. Uh, if anybody uh, was looking a little while ago, I had a video I put up just before the one I'm doing now, and it just said test on it. And I think about eight people or so saw it, and then it was blocked. The reason I was running the test was uh, I've done about, I don't know, 26 albums with Yumi Matsutoya from Japan, and I did an extensive video some time back, and after I, I put it up, it was immediately blocked. And um, so I thought I found another really great song that I wanted to, to show you uh, for your listening pleasure. And so I ran it as a test. I just played the song and put it up. And uh, about eight people saw it. And then, boom, block came up. Um, so I, I uh, deleted it because nobody else would be able to see it. And I don't want to waste the space. So that's that. So I'm moving on to something else now. I have a feeling unless I just contact um, Manta, her producer, her husband and producer, and just say, is there any way to unblock any of this? Because it's some great music. Um, that stuff, I guess, will never be presented here. Uh, it's a shame because I uh, love working with her and we've done some great projects together over the years. Um, and then uh, I want to again say how much I enjoyed uh, hanging with everybody in the clubhouse yesterday. And uh, it's it's so funny, the directions conversation uh, heads on that. You know, the minute food and ice cream, <laughs> all this stuff hits, boom, it's like off and running. And uh, I, I just enjoy it so much. It's such a really uh, wonderful uh, group of people that, that, have, that have gathered there and, uh, and created friendships and uh, uh, couldn't have asked for anything better to come out of all of this stuff than having a community like that um, evolve. Uh, so musically today, I'm moving on uh, to uh, somebody else. And it's a, a dear old friend of mine who I've worked with throughout the years on a, a number of occasions. And I really like him. He's just great people. And that's Chris Hillman. Now there's a little bio. And he has an incredibly extensive bio on Wikipedia. And I, I would be sitting here for half the uh, afternoon going over his uh, his history in this business. Um, but what I would suggest is if uh, you find uh, this interesting and you get a moment, just look up Chris Hillman uh, and you'll, it's unbelievable. But the brief little synopsis it starts with is Christopher Hillman uh, is an American musician. He was the original bassist and one of the original members of The Birds which in 1965 included Roger McGuinn, Gene Clark, David Crosby, and Michael Clark. With frequent collaborator Graham Parsons, Hillman was a key figure in the development of country rock, the defining genre, with his work with The Birds, The Flying Burrito Brothers, Manassas, and the country rock group, The Desert Rose Band. And then it goes on with like all of the things that, that he's been involved with over the years. And it's re really quite... Um, quite an, an impressive um, history that uh, is well worth checking out. Um, but I, one of the projects that I did with him uh, was an album called Slippin' Away, and we did this back in 1976. It was produced by Ron and Howard Albert. Uh, we cut it at Sound Lab Studios, Armin Steiner's um, studio here in, in Hollywood, and at Cherokee Studios. Oh, shh. Um, it was mixed by Ron and Howard, but they, they worked primarily out of Criteria Studios down in Miami, and it was mastered by Alex Sadkin at Criteria uh, in Miami. So I'm going to go ahead and um, just play a couple of tunes from this because I just enjoy it so much. And it's like um, playing with, with these guys, with Chris and, and this cast of characters we have here is, was such a joy. Um, the first song I'm going to play is called Slippin' Away, and it was written by Chris, and it's myself and Russ Kunkel on drums, Al Perkins on steel, uh, Paul Harris on keyboards, Steve Cropper on guitar, Joe Lala on percussion. Now, Joe did stuff with um, the section, too. I mean, he did a lot of stuff with um, 
Stephen Stills and stuff, but Joe's no longer with us, but he was the percussionist on this and not a bad little um, background vocal section. It's Chris Hillman, T Timothy B. Schmidt from the Eagles, and Herb Peterson. And uh, apparently the ooze in the background are Flo and Eddie, uh, who were the turtles. And uh, I had the pleasure of working with Flo and Eddie, too. So this, to me, these things are all always family. I've done a lot of Herb's uh, Peterson stuff and had the joy of working with all of these people over the years. So it's great. So here's Slippin' Away, uh, Chris Hillman. People are talking about us What did we do that's so wrong, so wrong Now we've got a reputation about a mile long <clears throat> When we find ourselves on that one-way street We're both headed for trouble, you see And it's so easy you're walking so close to the line And it's too late now What can you say? What can you say? That's the title track to the album, Slipping Away. The uh, album is called Slipping Away. Uh, here's uh, one called Take, uh, Take Me in Your Lifeboat. Uh, and this was written by Chris Hillman also. And it is myself and Joe Lala uh, playing a cardboard box on this with the great Byron Burline, who we also lost re not too long ago, uh, on fiddle and bass vocal, uh, Bernie Ledden from the original lineup of the Eagles, uh, on acoustic guitar and baritone vocal, and uh, uh, Chris Hillman on mandolin and lead vocal. So here we go. Take me in your lifeboat. Take me in your lifeboat. Take me in your lifeboat. It will 
will stand the raging storm. Take me in your life, oh, oh take me in your life, oh. It will bear the spirit home. Take us in your life, oh. yeah. Take me in your life, oh, oh, take me in your life, oh. It will stand the raging storm. Take me in your life, oh, oh, take me in your life, oh. It will bear the spirit home. Go, Chris. Clouds are so heavy, the wind is so loud Thunder is rolling, beckoning the crowd They pray for the shipmates for what they had done To die a sailor in their life, oh Take me in your life, oh, oh take me in your life oh. It will stand the raging storm I love playing that kind of music. It is just so much, so much fun. There's just so much energy. And I always would joke with Herb Peterson about that because Herb, man, his voice, when you listen when you listen to like really classic bluegrass and stuff, there's like zero vibrato. <laughs> I was looking for Herb and going, yeah, nice vibrato because it's like that voice is like a chainsaw. It's just so pure and cuts right through. Um, here's, here's one last one. This is called uh, Love is the Sweetest Amnesty. And um, this is, was written by Danny Duma, and it's myself and Russ Kunkel and Chris Hillman on electric on this one, Al Perkins on steel guitar, Steve Cropper on guitar, Herb Peterson on acoustic guitar, Ivory Joe Harris on keyboards, Joe Lala on tambourine, and Joe Lala and Rick Roberts on hand claps, and Chris and Herb uh, are the vocals on this one. So here we go. Love is the sweetest amnesty. Love in the sweetest Love is the sweetest amnesty Floats like a cloud between the sky and the sea I'll give it to you Could you please give it to me? Cause I need you 
the sweetest amnesty Floats like a cloud between the sky and sea I'll prove it to you Could you please give it to me? great record. There's a lot of great songs on it. Um, well worth um, digging into. So it's Slippin' Away, Chris Hillman, uh, 1976. And uh, I'll probably visit Chris some more because I did other projects with him and, and I've done uh, more projects. I've, I've featured Herb Peterson and I'll, I'll do more of Herb that we've done uh, as time goes on in here. But uh, yeah, just really... It's real pure stuff. I really enjoy it. So I'm going to wish everybody a wonderful day. I'm going to go out. i got some projects I'm going to take care of around the house and a couple errands I'm going to run. And um, and like that. So <laughs> i got to turn off notifications. i got to figure out where that is on my uh, new laptop. I got rid of it on the old one for some reason. I keep forgetting about it until, boom, there it pops out again. Um, but I'm digging, digging the new laptop. It's a, it's a nice piece of equipment. And it was sure a pleasure to hook up the uh, clubhouse yesterday on, on this uh, as compared to the old one. I suddenly realized really how much better, you know, and how much I've missed having a really good piece of equipment. But I'm not, not getting rid of the old one because there's things about it I still like. I can play CDs and DVDs through it. You know, still got that slot in the side and all that. So, um uh, again, man, serious thank you shout out to all the medical people, uh, but basically anybody who's been put in harm's way by this um, terrible situation we are in, um, <laughs> but uh, especially the medical community, because they are so stressed at this point. It's just unbelievable. And uh, again, I, I just uh, implore you to... Uh, Please get uh, get vaccinated. This is, uh, I mean, it just amazes me uh, once again that um, you know my entire life since childhood, whenever anything came along, there was vaccines developed to uh, take care of it, and I've never had whooping cough or polio or smallpox or diphtheria or any of these things. Um, and why this became this caused celeb to uh, to fight this one, I don't understand, but. Uh, I ended up going to the theater last night to the Amundsen Theater, and they, you had to, you could not get in if you did not have proof of vaccination, with ID, and all that. And before the thing started, the ushers were going around holding up signs that said "Keep your masks on," and the people adhered to it. I looked all around me, and everybody was masked in the theater, and uh, you know that's the only way we're going to get past this. So let's 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 work at it as a community, not just as an individual, but as a society, because this is global. This ain't just uh, your neighborhood. This is uh, something that's uh, affected all of us. So that's that. I'm going to get running. I will be back tomorrow with something else. But I was sad that I couldn't put Yu Ming's video up. Uh, it was really a great song. And, uh, and I have so many stories with her um, after so many albums and so many years 
working together. I'm going to try to find out if there's any way to unblock uh, her music. We'll see. We'll see. If not, uh, you can just look it up on your own. So I'm out of here, and I guess you are too. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.